What is there not appealing about it? It's quiet. You can take care of yourself. Nothing else matters out here. This is where you really are out here. When you're with people, you act differently. And when you're out here, you're yourself. Um, it all happened really fast. I just, I was in school, like I said, my, my uh, I guess my junior, almost senior year, because the way my credits are working out, I was, I was about to graduate college, and I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I'm still very confused, and, and I just knew that I had to go out on this trail. I knew I had to do something. I had to figure out my life. I had to decide, and I thought that going on this trail would give me a lot of time to do that, and I figured, I mean, what's a better way to decide what to do than sit there and be by yourself all day walking in the woods thinking about everything, so. On average, you have a couple thousand people that actually begin the trail um, very quickly. Within Georgia, a lot, a lot of people drop out. Um, finishing, you only have a few hundred per year, but you start out at a couple thousand, and uh, it's real busy, but then, like I said, they drop off quickly, not being prepared for things like that. Oh man, a typical day. You're up at about five o'clock in the morning, eating breakfast, cleaning up camp and everything like that. Um, after you, after you clean up and get, get everything ready, I mean, you're, you're basically out on the trail all day. You walk until about noon. And then, um, and then after that, I mean, you, you walk some more and then you eat dinner and go to bed. It's pretty simple. Um, normal night was pretty standard. Uh, you get in camp. It depends on the day, how many miles you're hiking or whatever, but you, you're either really tired or really not tired. Um, Usual night, not for me, was depended on depending on what the night was or how close I was to town. I usually involved sitting around the fire, um, drinking. That's usually what we do is drink. And a lot of people on the trail smoke actually a lot of weed. <laughs> um, surprisingly enough, I never really did actually because I'm not. I just don't do it personally because it's a moral thing for me. But um, everybody else on the trail got really, really high and just kind of passed out. I mean, it's pretty standard. It's pretty much how it was most of the time: eating, sleeping, drinking. I did a lot of that too much of that probably. Um, I had a sense that I was one with the woods for a, time, for a portion of time. Um, oh man, I miss my dog. I missed my dog. You miss simple things. You really do. You miss like being able to go out to eat whenever you want. You miss going to the fridge and getting something ice cold. I would do it again, but I would do it differently. I'd have twice as much money because um, that's the reason I couldn't go as far as I. That's the only reason I could go as far as I did is because I didn't have enough money. Um, I would go now with a more open mindset, being more willing to do more things because. I said I wanted to discover who I was and what I wanted to do with my life. Now that I'm still in Clueless, I would definitely be more open to things.